Why? 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 No. Hey guys, this is Jamie at Deer Bunny Farm. And this is Paige, we're in my kitchen. Today we're gonna make aloe and clover body butter. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. First we're gonna do our emulsifying wax. Okay, I'm gonna open this without breaking it. Um, this is what turns the oils, makes the oils mix with the water. You have to use some form of a emulsifier in order to do that. And we need eight ounces. Now, when you're making lotions, everything is a little more um, relaxed. It's not as much of a precise science as soap making, so. Next, we're gonna add our oils, whatever oils we want, and we need around 28 ounces of oil, which won't all fit in here. Um, so we're gonna try to, for this one, we're gonna use shea and cocoa butter, and it's all gonna have to melt down. Um, so we'll put part in and then we'll stick this in the microwave and melt it down and then we'll do the rest. water and moisture on your skin, glycerin sucks it in, and that gets added with our water. Okay, this is aloe vera juice. preservatives. We don't need to use preservatives in bar soaps because all the fluid evaporates out, but it's very important in lotions. Hey guys, we have measured out our water stage and our oils. You can see them. So this is water, glycerin, and um, aloe vera juice, and, oh, and aloe extract. Um, this is cocoa butter, shea butter, our emulsifier, um, lanolin, and vitamin E. So this is gonna be awesome. Um, and basically all that lotion or cream is, is an emulsifier, an oil, and a liquid. And you just kind of decide how thick you want it. This is gonna be very thick. Um, it might look pretty crazy when I blend it up, but we'll have to see. I don't like the texture, I add more oils or more liquid 
based off of that. You see some of the oils hardened already, but they'll blend in. it'll remelt the butters and oils and then I can stick blend it in even more. It is not a problem to do this while you're making it and um, the only thing you want to make sure you do is do not add your um, fragrance or your um, what do you call it? preservative. Don't add your preservative until it's cool enough. So every preservative has a flash point where it stops being effective. Um, normally it's somewhere around like 200 degrees, um, but it can be as low as 100. So you just wanna make sure that it's warm and not hot when you add your preservative or else it'll be ineffective and you won't even know it. So, you see how thick that is? That's gonna be such a delicious body butter. I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for a couple minutes and then um, blend it up again. Okay, you see how it melted back in a liquid? So we're gonna stick one more. Some people are allergic to preservatives and my oldest um, is allergic to a lot of preservatives, so I only use paraben-free. fragrance that I'm kind of currently obsessed with. So, let's blend it up. And now we pour into our containers. It's always smart to pour into your containers before it thickens because this will, as it cools, it's going to get thicker and thicker and be harder to pour. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out our Facebook, our Instagram, and our website at Dear Bunny Farm. Uh, we hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during the coronavirus outbreak. We are separate, but we have pre-filmed videos in my kitchen for the next few weeks. Um, be social distancing, be washing your hands, we definitely are. And like and subscribe.